What's up guys, it's Virtual Beats coming at you live from the simulation. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best settings to use for FL Studio. This is part of a masterclass series I got going on. So if you wanna be up to date for each of the lessons, just make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be going over mixing vocals. I'm gonna be going over making beats, you know, all that, the whole complete guide. So before I could do that, we got to get set up properly. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this limiter. FL Studio by default puts a limiter in the master and a lot of people, they just delete it every time, but that gets annoying because when you start a new project, you start a new thing, you know, it's going to always be there. You're going to have all this stuff in the way. You're going to have the limiter always pop up. We're going to go ahead and create a template. So to create a template, first things first, let's go new, new from template, and we want to do empty. After we do empty, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, if you're a producer, you could mess with this a bit. You can add, you know, your sounds, whatever you like. I typically just leave this to 64 and then that's it. I, that's my template right there. It's a fresh, clean project. I have, you know, the channel rack extended all the way and I can just go ahead, hop in and make a beat. So this is my template. If you want to add more stuff to it, because this is, you know, a, a master class, it's a bit advanced. If you want to put your mastering chain right here and have it preloaded, go ahead. If you want to have your mic set up, everything, you can go ahead and set it up. But this is going to be my um, hybrid uh, template. It's going to be for recording and it's going to be for beats. So I don't want to have to always change between the two. I just want it to be empty and, um, you know, just minimal. So you will go to file, you would go to save, and this location right here, this is the location where you want to save it to. You go to this PC, documents, image line, FL Studio, projects, and templates. Once you get in here, you can name the, the template, whatever you want. So we'll call this virtual beats um, template. And then we're going to save it to this right here. Boom. After that, we're going to go ahead and hit file, new, and you're probably gonna think like, oh, it's still there. The limiter came back. No, we just wanted to start a new project, you know, have something new. All right, so we're gonna open up general settings and we're gonna scroll down till we get to default template and start a project. So all this stuff that I skipped, we're gonna cover, we're gonna come back to it, but we just gotta make the template. So default template, my default template, I want it to be right here. Virtual Beats template, <clears throat> excuse me, Virtual Beats template, Startup project is every time you launch F out, what are you going to see? I want to see my default template, which is the virtual beats template. So now I can close that with a file and hit new. But yeah, now that we got the template, we can now move to the next step. Now we can go to the audio settings. But yeah, these are all how I have it set up. Um, depending on your PC, I put this between 16 to 32. It'd be any of these three. If you have a low end, I'd go 16. If you have a high end, I'll probably go 32 or 64, but I play it safe in the middle right here and I just do 24. Um, it's just all on your uh, specs really. So uh, these are the settings uh, for FL Studio ASIO. I use this for when I record and there's no problem with it, but for ASIO, whenever I use it, there's always like problems in Discord. I have problems with playback and I always have crackling so i found out that by using virtual cable it helps fix it and it helps me play it on discord so if you're somebody that shares your screen on discord and you have you know a glitch happens or you always have to restart this will help fix that so this is what i use when people ask me oh what do you use as the asio so i'll put this cable in the description below but you would download this and you would set it up in that file so it's a real simple i'll just go over it real quick but you would download this install it restart your pc once you restart your pc you go to your you know your sounds where your sounds would be which is this little box right here on your uh computer and you want to go ahead and go to playback and just make sure that your cable is ready don't set it as default device or anything for recording you want the same thing but you want to go in and you want to make sure where it says listen to this device that you have it checked after that, you hit apply and you're done. That's it. Then when you go to FL, it's going to say input. You put default and then you put the cable right here. And then for the buffer link, you just want to put it all the way up to avoid crackling, static, all that stuff. And hard clip output at zero. You always want to have this checked all the time. What this does is it basically, uh, you know, avoids um, 
FL Studio from limiting your sound, adding a limiter for the output. So we're always gonna leave that checked. So yeah, that's it for the audio settings. If you have latency when you record and you're having problems like that, I have a video, I'll link it up above here and put a picture of it. But in this video, I cover how to have little to no latency when you record in FL Studio. So if that's a problem that you have, definitely check out that video. Now for the general settings. For the general settings, I'm just gonna go ahead and skim through here. You can go ahead and pause the video, but the one I wanna focus on the most is this max undo levels. The higher you have this number right here, the more undos you can um, do. So I have up to almost a thousand. So if you have this at 10 or 20, you can only go back 20 times. So go ahead and just crank this up. Make sure these are all highlighted. And yeah, that's pretty much it for here. You can go ahead and copy these. Um, I think by default, a lot of these are uh, checked. I just have this one on. We have our template that we enabled earlier. Um, here's my other settings right here. These are, I mean, you could play around with these, but this is the, this is the gem right here. This is the gem. I don't know why it's not like this by default, but who knows? Now onto the file settings. So for the file settings, we want to make sure we have it set to very frequently for the auto save where it says every minute and before risky operations. If you have an older version of FL, I think the most you could do is five, but on FL 24, you can go higher. Uh, maximum, you want to turn this to a hundred. The higher the number, the more auto saves you have. So I'll, you know, you can go higher, but I say at bare minimum, it should be a hundred. Now, after you do that, a lot of you guys don't know where your backup folder is. So I'm gonna show you every time your project crashes or something happens, I'm gonna show you guys where to go to recover your projects. So if you lose a project, this is where you go to get your backups. You go to this PC, documents, image line, FL Studio, projects, and backup. Whatever you name the beat or the project, it'll be right here. So you can sort it by the last time it was modified, you know, the date, the name, it's all right here. So what I would do is, instead of having to go through all these folders again, instead of having to go to the documents every time, go to projects, right click backup, hit create a shortcut, and move the shortcut that it makes to your desktop. So I have right here, I have a short, I have my FL Studio on my desktop, I have my backups, my templates, you know, a folder for my beats, a folder for my songs. You always want to stay organized so you can, you know, feel motivated to make beats. If you have too much clutter, at least for me, I I don't want to produce. <laughs> if it's like all just like, oh, my files are organized, I'll just spend a lot of time cleaning it because it just, it bothers me. Now you're good. So if FL Studio decides to crash on you, like let's say right here, this crashes on me, I can just easily pull up the backup right here. Boom. Pulls exactly where I left off. All right, now we're gonna move to the folders. And if you're a producer, you're familiar with this, this is where you add your drum kits. You know, some people add vocal presets here. But one thing a lot of people don't know is whenever you have a project and you, let's say, you make a beat and you have a sound and you move it, FL Studio will be like, that sound is missing, you need to locate it. And you could be searching on your computer for hours and hours trying to find that file, then you had to move it exactly where it belongs. Instead of having to do that, by putting your by putting your C drive, your D drive, all your drives as a folder, it'll automatically search that. So if you open a project that says you're missing these sounds, as long as they're on your computer, the project will pull up. So let's say I make a beat with the Zaytoven 808. I move that Zaytoven 808 to my desktop. And FL Studio is like, oh, you're missing this. You have to look for it. Now I got to search. Oh, it's on my desktop. I got to drag it to the folder it belongs into. I got to, or I got to relocate it. And that's just a hassle. To avoid that completely, just put all your drives right here. It'll always auto locate. It'll search your whole computer for whatever is missing. I don't have people tell me like, oh, I made this beat and I lost everything because I moved the folder and I got to reload. I was like, all you got to do, put your drives, restart the beat. You have everything right there. You're going to thank me later. You're going to save a lot of time. Look, I told I told you this is sauce right here. Look, we're, we're still going. We're still going. And now for themes, uh, I'm not really going to cover a lot. I mean, I feel like they're self-explanatory. You could play around with them. But I do got uh, some cool themes. You know, if you want to check them out, they'll be in a Discord server. Like, see what themes you can, you know, you could change the color of stuff. You can add things in the background. You could do a lot of stuff. You know, if you want to know how to do this, 
animations in the background and stuff like that i'll link a video below a good video i found that was helpful um but yeah we'll, we could be here all day with themes so yeah it's gonna be uh you know we're just gonna keep it default for now and uh yeah we'll you know move on to whatever we have left all right and the last is the export settings for the export settings um i usually just do wave when i export but we'll just turn on all of these just for the sake of the video that way you can see all the settings that are grayed out but yeah i have all these cranked up cranked up 24 bit um hq for all plugins 512 all these settings right here uh but i usually just stick to wave if i want to do a, a lease or send out beats i'll do mp3s you know just to send them a lower quality file but most of the time i do wave um split mixer tracks this is always off unless you want to split all your tracks individually yeah just make sure that's off if you don't need it um and other than that yeah that's pretty much it and that's going to be a wrap for the settings master class hope you guys enjoyed got some useful info like i said this is only the first part of my master class series i have two more coming i have one that's on how i make my beats my whole complete process from start to finish and then I have another one dropping where it's my, you know, recording, vocals, mixing and master process. I just go over it. If you want to see those videos and be notified when they come out, make sure to subscribe, turn the post notification bell on and join the Discord server. If you want to hang out, chill, vibe with artists, get any of those themes that you just saw. But yeah, with that being said, my name is Virtual Beats and I'm signing out the simulation.